Hey, what is up guys? I'm Shreyas from the Android Nerd and here's a really quick rundown on what's on my home screen. So this is my home screen right now and it's really simple and minimalistic. I've hardly placed any apps on the home screen. All of them are widgets. And if you're wondering, I use Nova Launcher to create this setup. And I use Nova Launcher most of the time because it is one of the most customizable launchers on the Play Store. For the clock widget, I use Super Widget Pro to create my own widget. It's really simple to create on your home screen. All I did was add a circle, add a rectangle with rounded corners, change the rectangle's color to blue and added some text showing the time. And that's pretty much it. The wallpaper that you're seeing is not from any application. All I did was just search it up on Google. Like I searched for wooden wallpapers for phones. And that's it. But anyways, don't worry about that. I'll be leaving a link to it in the description box below if you'd want to apply that on your home screen. The widgets below the clock widget is from an application called Real Time Subscriber Account to show the amount of subscribers that I have on the two channels that I manage. So yeah, if you don't know about my second channel, I just started it a couple of weeks ago. So go ahead and check that out. Links will be in the description box below. Below all those widgets, I have 5 applications that I most frequently use and they are WhatsApp, Instagram, Google+, Twitter and Chrome. And if you're wondering about the icon pack, it's the polygon icon pack that gives that amazing icons. On the second page of my home screen, I have a calendar widget from an application called Month. And what I really like about this is because it's synced with Google Calendar, so you could add calendar events straight away from the widget. And whenever you have an event for a particular date, it will represent it with a small tiny white dot. You can also customize between various themes for the widget from the month application. For my navigation bar, I've customized it to look like the ones found on Pixel phones with an application called Pixbar and it's paid in the Google Play Store just around $1. So it's really worth for the price, you don't need your device to be rooted for it. So guys, that wraps it up for me in this video. If you want me to make a video on how you could replicate it on your home screen, then do let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, I'm Shreyas and I'll see you guys in my next video.